Hello everybody, this is Naomi. So I am in a puzzle swap and um, they make these jumbo puzzles and I was not able to find one. So I've gone online and printed them out and they're six by four, but I've gone about six and a half by four and a half. That way I've got a little bit bigger to play with. And, like, here's one that I already cut out. I cut out that one, and I've cut out this one, and then this is another one. So, uh, I'm going to, and I've already cut out my pieces, my, but I'm going to glue these together, because I want them a little thicker than what, because see how, see how flimsy? So, I want them a little bit thicker. So, well, I could just use these two. We'll do it that way. Okay, so, but I wanted to show you, you can go on Pinterest. They've got all kinds of little puzzle pieces that you can print out and then just use them as your templates. So, that's what I have done. So, what I'm going to do now I am going to bring in my paper to decorate the image with. And I'm going to put the paper just like so. And I'm going to trace around it. Okay, there's that one, and then I'm going to take this one and put in this corner because I kind of want the image on it just in case any of that image shows. Okay, let me stick that back because that didn't trace out. Okay, now I'm going to get this side. Okay, and I'm going to do this on one more piece of paper, which will be this one here for the back. And I'm going to cut them all out, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got everything cut out, <laughs> but I made a mistake because I didn't flip them over. So the back side is going to be white instead of a colored decorative paper. But anyways, it works, so I'm just going to run with it. Doesn't matter whether it's going to be in white or not. So now I'm just going to, come on glue, getting low, it's time to order more. But it's still been cold around here and they won't ship this glue if it's too cold. This is the uh, glitter glue. Art glitter glue. And I love it because it doesn't take a lot to glue down.
So and you want to get it in place pretty quick because it will settle on you. So there's that one. And see what I'm saying? I didn't alter it. So when you flip it this way, it fits like it's supposed to. So that's, I mean, it's not too far off, but it is off. I could get away with this one. But my other one over there, I cannot. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it exactly like this and be done. So while I'm gluing all of these together... I'm going to pause the video because gluing takes forever and I don't want this video to be long so I'm going to pause it and be right back once they're all glued together. Okay. Here's what they look like. Now that I've got the uh, everything on them, so now is the time to decide colors. And I've got one friend that is like me, just loves the purples. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to do these together. That way I can get them done because I got a couple of other projects I got to get done this week and today is already Thursday. So <laughs> that just tells you I am really running behind. I've had a lot of things I've had to go do this week. Um, I had to take uh, my daughter's cat to the vet. Um, she's taking him to her apartment now, and he had to be spaded and neutered before he could go home. So, mom volunteered to help get him spaded so that he could go home with her. She's been out a little over a year and hasn't been able to take him home because of where she lives at. So, there we go. And I lightly thins the ends of these ribbons for the simple fact I don't want them to come unraveled Okay, so there's that. Now this one wants to stick up. There's the little, so I'll put a little here so it will tack down. So there's that, 
and I'm going to take some purple, bot purple rib. And hold on, let me find a different one. Um, okay, this one will work better for what I'm wanting it. So it's square. I'm going to light well. I don't like that, so that one you won't be able to singe because it wants to burn rather than singe. So it's more of a material base than it is. Okay, so and I'm just going to go. I want this to find. I mean, a fine line. Come on. here and then I'm going to place this just like so and lightly touch it down and I just lightly touch it so that it really doesn't string it and then I'm going to come back ah, let's see that didn't hold either that got cold on me down now so come over here to the edge and run a fine bead down the edge of this one and I think I'm just gonna go so far like so that way <laughs> if you don't dry too quickly just like so Like trim out that little bit of an edge. Just like so. And then I am going to hang it. So I want to put my hole up here. Try to center it there and then I'm going to have something here that I'm going to dangle it off of and I want it cut there. Same with this one. Ok. 
Okay. So, for my uh, string that I'm, or piece that I'm using, it's going to be purple as well. I always do that. I always stick it in the opposite way because I want that tie to be on the front. And I always stick it the wrong way. And I have to change it. Okay. That's what I want right there. And then I'm just going to tie this up at the top. Where it can hang. There we go. So, there's that part. But I am going, I've got some of this purple hearted heart. And I'm going to put it on here too. So, and I want it to... right here so I'm going to trim this off and I'm going to come back and put a lot to have a glue well I'm gonna go a little heavier because it's got to go through and then hold the plastic beads too. So, cheek and lay right there, and just oops, 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 turn, turn, turn. There you go, turn. There you go, and then just lightly. like so. And there's what that looks like. So, what I'm going to do now is This is going to be my center based flower. This is what I'm going to build off of. And I want it right here. Okay. So, like I said, she's a purple and pink girl. She's a girly girl. Yeah, and I know in the minute she sees this video, she's going to know who I'm talking about the whole time I'm doing it. But that's okay. She'll already have it by the time she gets to see the video. And I've got all different types of flowers that I'm going to be using. I've got these, which are a felt flower. I've got some paper flowers. I've got some lacy type flowers. So there's that. 
And what I'm doing is I'm cutting off this plastic, but I gotta keep the the plastic on it or the center will come out of it and I don't want that. So I trim this up so I can make it lay somewhat a little flatter. See what I'm saying? But I, I know I'm going to incorporate these two in it. And... Da -da -da -da. I want this one in it. And that one. And then... I have this one that I want in it. Okay. See, I've got bags and bags of different flowers that I use for all kinds of things. So, uh, and these I just recently got and I seen them and I thought, oh, these will be a beautiful project that I can use on something somewhere. So, this one... Where do I want to put it? Some of these I like the way that they do. Some of them I'm not crazy about it because you can't get them to lay flat without them looking funny. If you know what I mean. Okay. After doing a little bit of surgery. Put some glue. Pull up your petals. Because you want them to look like they're coming in under the other flowers as well. And then you just take some of your petals let's see some of your petals you pull these up drop that one and then let these kind of interfold around them just like so and they look like they've actually grown that way so Okay, and I want a shoot of this. Where are my scissors? like these greeneries and that's why I buy these like this I just recently got these from uh, um, Joann's and see where I've taken these little leaves off you can use them for different decorations Okay, but anyways, because what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to make it look like it's coming out from underneath this petal. And I know I've already glued it down somewhat, but I'm going to pull it up just a little. Put me some glue right here. 
and I'm going to place this petal here and then I will glue that purple flower back down just like so because you want it to look real not fake so I try to make it look as real as possible and I think I'm yep I'm gonna put that one right there too so I'll clip this little bit of a tip off and put me some glue here Pick this leaf up and I'm going to slide it right in there like that. And you're none the wiser. It just looks like the petals belong there. So now I want a few of these green, long green shoots. Okay, there's that. I'm trying to figure out where I want some of these to come in at. And you don't have to waste what you cut off, just put you another point just like that, and it just looks like a thicker piece. Like so. Okay, let's use what ones I got out. Because I want to get them down. That way I can put my uh, other stuff over the top of it. That way it comes in behind everything. If you know what I mean. But I want to look like, make it look like it's as real as possible. Okay. Some of these you can cut down even shorter so that they come out like that. So I'm going to take and put some glue here. And slide it in there and glue it down. All this is, is just a little bit of greenery to help. I'll have to show you the one I did yesterday. I did one yesterday that I just, I had to ask what people thought of it because, where did it go? What did I do with it? Hold on a minute. This is the one I made yesterday. Isn't it pretty? And it has on the bottom. See, this is what I'm going to do. It's going to have a dangling on it. That dangles off of it. And this is what the back side looks like. And, and see how I incorporated the leaves here. And the leaves. And I put in these little growth ones here and here. I try to make it look as real as possible. So there's that. But that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to incorporate these just like that. Okay. And I think that's 
You can overdo some of the greenery if you're not careful. So I don't want to do that. So and I just take and flatten out some of the outer layers of the petals on these so that I can get them to lay down the way that I need them to. And these flowers here, a good friend, um, sent them to me. And because I couldn't find them at my store, and she sent them to me. And I've been kind of hoarding them because I really haven't had a project that I wanted to use them on until now. So, I am now using them on this. I'm going to uncurl that flower just a little bit. That one's going to go there. That's what I'm doing is opening these up to where, see how they curl around the leaf? And that's what I want is for them to look as natural as possible. And I'm going to get this one to, there we go. There we go. So there's that. Now let's see. I'm going to take this one and set it right here. Just like that. I'll take, and I take these big leaves like this and just cut them down into regular pieces. And then Now this one will set right here. Just like so. And that very carefully fills in. And so you can take this one, put it a little below. Bring these up and over the top. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Okay. I want to...
Now what I normally do with these I try to come in because they're they're not they won't move. So I come in to inside the flower and clip it in here. That way, whenever it lays flat, you don't see it anymore. Same with this one. Okay, so I'm going to. Round it just a little bit. Get that in there before. Sorry everyone, I just realized that I've done a little bit of work and didn't restart my video. So, this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, I've added a couple of flowers. I, I have to look at the video in the, to know exactly where I left off, but I'm not really sure. But where I'm at now... Um, I'm going to put some little white flowers in to kind of break up some of the purple. Just going to put them in like that. Okay, and I think I'm going to put one more right here, and I think I'm going to tighten up the bud on this one just a smidget, so I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and tighten this bud up just a smidget where it's not so loose and then mind the one being a little loose but I don't want them all loose and that's what I did with this one here I just kind of put a little bit of glue around the petals Pulled the petals in. And that's what I'm going to do with the greenery. Is put a little bit of the hot glue on the greeneries. And pull them firmly up to the flower. As well. I'll just remove some of the little glue. We're going to take and put the glue on the bottom. Just like so. There's another glue. And I'm going to kind of pull up these here. Put them out like that. I want them to stand up. Okay. 
That is really pretty. Okay. And I've got a few other little flowers that I'm fixing to add in here. I want to get them in before um, we lay any more of the um, okay got the spider webbing going on put that one like that and then I'm going to take this other one that looks just like that and I'm going to bring it over here <laughs> I'm going to glue it down like that. And this, I'm going to curve just a little bit to where I can take a little bit of hot glue, put it there, and it be attached there. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Trying to get some of the natural flow of a flower. Okay, okay so now I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to place it right here. Just like so. Okay. And I have a little hole over here. That I need to kind of feel too, so I'm going to put this one here, just like so. Okay. Nope, entirely too big. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What if... Out, 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 out. Whew. That hurt. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, that one's gonna go there, just like so. Mm. That's gonna be a blister. Okay. Got to be a little more cautious than that. Then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to 
difference is, is I'm going to curl that one petal so that it don't block the little turquoise one. Alrighty. So now what do we have? Okay. So I'm going to take this one. Another glue stick real quick. Okay. And we're going to take it and put it right here. Just like so. Just like that. Okay. And then... Hmm. Yep. I'm going to take this one. Okay, so there's that one. Put it in here. And I can take and put that pedal over the top of that one, just like so. Now, isn't that pretty? Everything is done on it. So, okay. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a ring. Oh, what did it do? What did it do? I dropped that one. Okay, anyways, I got a second one here. I'm going to put a ring on the bottom of this, just like so. And I'm going to close it up. Like so. So there's that. And then I made this little dangly charm to go on the bottom of it. And it's going to dangle just like that. And there's what it looks like all together. So there's that. And I will be back to do part two on a second video of the other um, puzzle piece. Thank you and have a good day. If you like my video, hit the like and subscribe and keep me growing. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.